Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another monthly subscription from the Dollar Bead Box and Bag. In case you're interested in the box or the bag, I will leave links for both down there below in the description bar. So let's go ahead, open this up. I got my knife here. Here's the bag. We're going to do this first. In the colors. Oh my gosh, this is so autumn. No way. I've never seen that one before. And that and that one too. Oh my gosh. The, the these Picasso ones here. I've never seen those. They look Picasso. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna figure out what they are together. I'm going to start with the three millimeter beads and then I'll go to the four like I usually do. Okay. Three. Oh wow. That is so cool. I like both. I love this one. I have used this before, I think, but in the four. I actually want more of those. Okay, in this one, the three. Okay, and the rest here. Wow, those are so incredible. These two. I'm flipping out over these two. Okay, to the list. Three millimeter strands. The first one is orange sherbet. Then there's matte orange sherbet. So that's probably these two. So this is orange sherbet. It's very pretty. I actually see yellow, orange, Pink and clear. I see four colors in this bead. Those are cool. You might be able to see the colors better than this one. This is matte orange sherbet. These are really fantastic. I love those. And here I'll, I'll show you them together so you can get an idea. They're both really awesome. Yeah, I don't have many colors like this so super excited about that. And then matte watermelon, which I thought I got this in the four, or or maybe I got it in the shiny one, in this one here, not the matte. And um, it made me think of salsa, because I see like green peppers or cilantro, tomato, onion. Yeah, they're calling it watermelon though. So there's that one. And this one is amazing, jet speckled bronze luster. Bronze, this looks green to me. So, I think I got this before, but in the 4mm, and this strand is amazing. I want to go back and buy these. It's been a while since I've done a big uh, check bead haul with um, the dollar bead box. I always feel like my, my go place to go and get check fire polish beads is the dollar bead box. I love this strand. Do you see the blue? There's little blue specks. Do you see it? It looks green to me, but they're calling it bronze, so I don't know. It looks green. Uh, next one, four millimeters now. Garnet with silver wash. That's this? What? Okay, there's garnet with silver wash. I think that's that. Watermelon, matte, jet gold, Mario, and olive travertine. Yeah. So this is called Garnet Silver Wash. I also want this strand. This is unbelievable. It looks Picasso to me. It looks like a garnet bead. Okay. Put it up to light. You can see the garnet color. And then I see Picasso. And then I see silver over top of that. It kind of looks like a gemstone. Those are incredible. And I bet these will look great together. Let's see here. Yeah. They do look really good. I'm trying to remember what I used that green bead in. I think I did use it in a project. I love those. Next is the watermelon. Oh, maybe I got this in three. In the clear three. That looks really great in the clear too. So both of these are watermelon. One's matte. And one is just the shiny, and also one's four, one's three millimeter. 
so cool. And then this, this is the Matte Jet Gold Marille. Or Marais. I think it's Marais. So this color is also incredible. This is called Olive Travertine Luster. The other one is called Garnet with Silver Wash. And this is Olive Travertine Luster. This one is also really, really incredible. I want to put this one up to the light. Oh my gosh. So they're calling this Olive, but up in the light. This is actually a emerald green, like teal colored bead. It's transparent. It looks like it's opaque, but it is not. And then it has what well, looks like travertine and silver wash over it. This one looks like Picasso to me. So this one is also really incredible. I'm really loving these three, and I want to go back and make another order. It's been a long time since I've ordered from them, but those are my favorite. I love those. And reminder, you can get these for a dollar each. That's crazy. There's nowhere else that I've ever found where you can get these a dollar each. Um, usually, it's like three fifty a strand, it seems like, up, up to even like five dollars some places. It's crazy. It's, uh, the dollar bead box really is the best place to get these check fire plush beads. So, super excited about these. I want to go shopping again. What beautiful beads. Let's go to the box now. Last month, I got some amazing butterfly beads. Check butterflies. What's new? Tear castlings, class kits, beads, and more. I just recently got a tear cast butterfly connector. That was so gorgeous. I thought it was a bee, though. But, um, I want to get more of those also. No way! We have new elephants! <gasps> the bee! Oh my gosh. My mom is going to love these. My mom loves elephants, and I love turtles. Okay, let's separate. Wow! I think that's, I think that's green in that bead. That is gorgeous. Okay, strands. Oh my god, I love this leaf. I've never seen this color before. That is so gorgeous. And these pearls, I think these are pearls. Actually, they're trucks. Oh my gosh, this is a really good box. Okay. Okay, let's go to the strands. I like all of these together. I love these rondelles. I've gotten these a lot in the dollar bead box, and every time I get them, I'm so excited. They're really great for weaving, and they have perfectly smooth round holes. They don't um, cut your thread. But let's go on to... The strands here, the first one is 4mm Czech Glass Druck Pumpkin Luster. That's this. This is gorgeous. It's a burnt orange. I like that burnt orange. So pretty. Oh, and by the way, if you're interested in my rings, every time I wear a beaded ring, I always get asked to make a tutorial. Um, usually, I have a tutorial done for every beaded ring that you see me wear. If you want to make this ring, you'll find it on my YouTube channel. If you go to videos, you'll see it there. You scroll down. Or you can go to my ring playlist. And I think I have like over 60 ring tutorials now. So to, to find that, go to my YouTube channel. Then you'll see playlists. Click on that. And then go to rings. And you'll see all my ring tutorials there. But this was a recent tutorial that I did. Alright, so there's that drug strand. This looks really great. Look at that. They did a really good job this month mixing colors together. The next one, oh wait, I didn't do that one yet, is a 3mm Czech Glass Pearl. This, I love this color. It's called Golden Sand. This is so gorgeous. This makes me think of caramel. I love caramel. 
Doesn't it look just like caramel? I swear it's like the same exact color. It just has like a pearlescent to it. And those are epic together. Alright, next thing is 5mm check glass. Pol oh, check fire polish. Peridot with copper. Yes, they're calling this peridot, but it looks lighter to me. There's this one color. I can't remember what it's called. I got it from the dollar bead box. It was probably when I did like my last haul. It's a a uh, very pale green. It kind of looks like a praiselite gemstone. That's what this looks like to me. Like, peridot is kind of a... What I say? Chartreuse color to me. But this here is very pale. Do you see that? That's a gorgeous two-tone strand right there. Yeah. I like that. I just realized that my bead mat matches the beads perfectly. Next thing is 3x5mm check glass rondelle, dark topaz, that's this here. Those are gorgeous. I love those. Really nice color mix this month. Let's see. Next thing is 3x11mm check glass leaf. That's this dream that I love so much. Green opal with copper. What? I've never seen this before. They're calling this opal, but it kind of looks like the chalk, the, uh, what's it called? It's, it's like a, it's a chalk color to me. That's what it looks like. You usually see it in, uh, like, super duos. Those are amazing. I also want more of those leaves. And they can be used in so many things because of that color right there. It's so perfect. Next thing is 5mm check glass. I keep saying check glass, but it's check fire polish. Rose with gold luster. These. I have this color in super duos and trucks. It's really pretty, but every time I get it, it looks different. This one here is more pink, but I've gotten it at times where it has more of a dark brown color. Yeah, and, and also, this is like, um,. I would say a rosy or dusty pink. I've also gotten it, like my super du duo version is like very pink. Yeah, it's weird, but it's very pretty. Aren't those pretty beads? They are gorgeous. Such a nice color mix. What's next? 10 by 15 millimeter check glass elephant. These, these are so incredible. Gray with gold. So I don't know if you know this, but um, these must be their new elephants. There is another check bead elephant that is bigger than this. It's like three times the size, and it has like spiral eyes. That is so pretty. I have it in uh, turquoise with, I think, a bronze wash, and then I have it in a silver wash. I actually like the bigger one more. And I think the bigger one, I think it has the hole going in the center of the bead, so you could string it this way, but this one has the hole going this way. But I still love it. It's very cute. Yeah, I just realized I'm out of frame there. Okay, those are epic. Next thing, this here, 3 by 6mm three by check glass teardrop crystal AB. Um, I like I like this size a lot. Three by six. Is that really the right size? I think it's actually I think it's more of a four by six. Tell me, cause this strand of pearls is three, and usually when you measure a teardrop, you measure the widest part of the teardrop, which is here, okay, and then you measure it there. And in my stash, I do have these, but I don't have this color in this size. Unless they're measuring the hole. They could be measuring the hole and then measuring it this way. But usually when I see these drops, I swear they always measure the widest part of the bead here and then it that way. You know what I'm saying? So those are great to have. And then this is all my strands. Now we're going on to... The baggies. Nine by nineteen millimeter check glass arabesque beige with turquoise. What? 
What is this? A R A B E S Q U E. Check last. I don't know. Beige with O. Oh, this? I think so. That size looks about right. 9 by 19 millimeter. Those are gorgeous. This must be a new bead because I've been getting this a lot in the subscription boxes lately. I just made a necklace with another subscription box with these in a different color. That is so pretty. I'm loving these. They're very fancy. Don't they just look so fancy? Those are gorgeous. Oh, wow. Yeah, those look great together. Okay, so there's that. And then, 17 by 22 millimeter check glass bumblebee. Where you at, B? Where you at? Right here. So I've gotten this here a couple times. This bead is incredible. And every time I've, I've gotten this, I think I've done a tutorial using it. I've made a bracelet with it. Necklace. This color is so cool. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. I've never seen a car like this. They're calling this amber. So it looks like a orangey yellow color, right? But it's not opaque. It actually has like an opal look to it, like the the milky glass check beads, right? This is transparent. I don't know if you could tell that. The wings are transparent and I could see through there, but it's like there's a layer of a transparent orangey yellow on the outside and then there's opaque in the middle of the bead. It's hard to explain, but it is incredible. This looks so old, doesn't it? It looks vintage. I love that. I've always wanted to make a ring with this bead. But I don't think I have yet. Awesome. So awesome. It kind of looks like a fly to me also. Alright, what's next? 10 millimeter Terracast Hammered Bead Cap. What? Ah, I just saw those. Where'd they go? These are Terracast? These are beautiful. These are gold plated. I thought... I thought these were going to be like filigree. But they are not. They are thick. See that? Those are really pretty. It's the first time I've ever seen a hammered bead cap. And I like that a lot. TerraCast has some buttons right now that I'm dying to get. The They have bumblebee buttons. I guess that's their new... Did I lose the bead? Oh, it's in the back side. I guess it's their new buttons. The bees are so cute. Ugh, I can't get it in the bag the right way. See, I have to get it in the bag the right way the first time I put it in because I have to take pictures of this and I don't want to fidget with it again later. Alright, next thing is 12 by 18 millimeter check glass table cut drop. These olive with travertine. I love these. This is a chartreuse color I was talking about. And they're calling it olive, but every time I think of olive, I think of a dark a dark green because you know why I think of that because I have I have olivine Soroski and it is not this shade of green it's a different shade I don't have it anywhere around me to show you but anyways these are cute see the Picasso but they're calling this travertine but Picasso has blue in it and travertine is more brown to me look at how blue that is on the side those are pretty. Very pretty. Oh my gosh, I was just thinking that bumblebee would look so cool. This would look so cool in that Creative Dreams macrame bracelet that I made. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a picture up now.
yeah I think that this would look really epic in that so in that tutorial you can go and watch it just put the title in and you'll find it um I just took beading wire you know not not beading wire I just took regular wire and I put some check beads on that were fancy like this I did wire loops at the ends and I macrame on it that's pretty much it this would also look cool on that bracelet it's just fancy check beads that I used so I did that one okay that's cute um, the next thing is four millimeter check glass square the color is called russet oh my gosh so in my stash I have this color which is so rare this is only the second time I've ever seen this color I have this color in uh, six millimeter Drux and I never see it any other time and I realized I was going through my stash it's in my brown beads and I was like I've never seen this color anywhere else it's always I've only ever seen it in this I've never seen anybody sell it but here it is finally it looks like milk chocolate to me yeah that's how I would describe it it's very pretty or like a terracotta Do you guys remember years back I went and made a um, a seed bead? Beaded bird nest. I'll go and find that ring and put it up now. Anyways, when I went to go make that ring, I could not find opaque brown to save my life. I made a purchase thinking maybe I had the right one and then I got it. And it did not look like brown. It was like a weird shade. And then I went back and I made another purchase. And I just bought like a whole bunch of different brown beads just for one project. And it was ridiculous because I spent a lot of money trying to find the perfect brown. But I ended up doing it. These are gorgeous. I've gotten these before. This amazing pattern. Not this color though. I got a different color. I made a ring with these. Um, is that the next one? No. I just did the check squares now it's 15 by 8 millimeter terracast pumpkin drop I thought this would be terracast antique silver plate yeah I was thinking this was going to be terracast because of the quality it looks like it's amazing quality come on come on open up that's so cute Look at the top of the pumpkin. The little leaves and the vine. It's really pretty. And look how chunky. It's double sided. It's real thick and chunky. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, we did that. We did this. And then... 20 by 21 millimeter check glass table cut tabular round gray opal with travertine this yes now this looks more travertine to me and I'm going to show you so see this side here see how it's like brown right there's not like you don't see that blue the purple the green that kind of looks like mold growing on the side of the bead but this one here had a lot of it and they were calling this travertine like all this time I keep trying to figure it out because I'll get these beads do you see it? that one there, can't really tell there, that's better see how this one has purple blue green on the side this one's more brown so this is what I've always thought is that this one was the Picasso and this was travertine but I think they're calling both of these travertine yes this one says travertine the olive travertine and then this down here gray opal with travertine but I think they might have this wrong. This looks like the Picasso to me. So I'm going to put these back. And I'm actually dying to get to those glass bottles. What's next? 
There's the pumpkin, 11 by 29 millimeter Priorus glass bottle. What? Three. So these bottles right here, I got these years back. I found them at the tree and I went to the nail art and I saw there was little glass bottles like these. I think there was like six or eight of them in a pack and there was glitter in them and like little nail art pieces and instead of getting them for my nails I instantly thought I should bead those. I wonder if I could bead those. And so I did a tutorial on them and I will put the t picture of the tutorial up now. Alright, so anyways, those are so cool. They look really awesome beaded, and I had a lot of good reaction from that video. Um, there, I had people putting perfume in their bottles, um, beads. I even had one lady, she put some uh, family member's ashes in the bottle to carry around with her. So you guys really love them. And um, yeah, if you want to, you got to go and check that tutorial out. You can use these same bottles. They look exactly the same to me. I'm going to open them up. Um, years later, after I did do that tutorial, I did another beaded bottle. So that's how it looks like. But I went into more detail. Because this here is so tiny, I feel like I can only bead the outside right. And I have a little pull uh, cord on here to get this cork out that I show how to make in the video. But later on I ended up doing a more advanced beaded bottle and I did a bigger one so I can do stuff inside the bottle. That was, that that has to be one of my most favorite tutorials that I have done. I had so much work, time, thought put into that and all four of those turned out amazing. I'll put a picture of the second bottle tutorial I did up now. So yeah, I actually recommend that you go and watch both of them. What is this size going to be? I want to know because I recently used this. 8mm um, check glass faceted barrel bead. Multicolor. That's this. So we've gotten this a few times in this box, but it's always a different color. And these beads are always very gorgeous. Come on, come on. They have this pattern on them. Do you see it? They're really pretty. Anyways, I like these so much. And since there's only three of them, I wanted to show off their beauty. So I did a ring with these. I used all three of them. And I will put a picture up now of the tutorial. So yeah, if you want, you can go and make that ring using these three beads right here. They're really unique. I actually wonder if, if I have gotten this color already, and it was the very first color that I got years back. That might have been the color that I did in the ring. I don't know. I'll have to see when I post a picture. So the next thing is... To Rusky's last. It's gonna be this. Six millimeter vintage German glass rounds, opaque with yellow and blue. I think I have gotten this before. In this same color. They're really unique. You don't see beads like this often, by the way. These are kind of rare. These are rare too. To get patterns like these, I only have a few check beads in my stash to have this. And this is not painted on. This is glass all the way through. This finish is permanent. It will not come off. Like a lot of the times to get a finish that kind of looks like this, you have to go with the painted glass. But this this pattern is all the way through the bead. They are incredible. Aren't those cool? If you guys have been subscribed to the Dollar Bead Box for a long time, you might remember me getting these. Or you might have some in your stash. And these two, because I did get those also a long time ago. So I am happy to have more of these. I haven't used them yet. And the more I got, the better. So 
so this is the last thing and I'm bummed out oh there it is okay I'm gonna say they're not showing the size over here but they're actually showing it right here so it's a Swarovski 10 millimeter Swarovski cushion cut they're calling this rose gold which I actually didn't even know that I thought it was just gold but now that I'm looking at it, I see that um I recently used this in earrings but I think I might have used a bigger stone I think I might have used I don't know I got them up here right here it is bigger yeah I put it back in the bag this is a 12 millimeter cushion cut cut stone it's really hard to see in this bag so I'm just gonna put a picture of this up now because I also made another pair of earrings with that with that same stone So yeah, I made those earrings with this stone, but I used a 12 millimeter. That's really cute. I got my fingerprints all over it. Okay, and that's Swarovski. It does say Swarovski on the back of the bag. I don't know if you guys realize that or not. I actually save, like, when I get these here, I throw these cards away. I don't need them anymore, and they take up space. They're hard for me to store. But in my crystal boxes, I save this card. It says Swarovski on it. And I just do, like, a mixture of Swarovski stuff in these bags, because I don't have a lot of Swarovski. So, for example, I might have, like, two Swarovski hearts, two Swarovski rondelles, all in the same color frame, like pinks and purples, and I'll put them all into this this bag that has the Swarovski on the back. Alright, so this is everything. What an awesome box this month. I love all the colors. Yes, and I want to go back and reorder some of these Czech Fire Polish beads, but I probably shouldn't right now. But what I should do is just like uh, save the paper and mark down to reorder those or something. I don't know. But such pretty beads. And here are the beads from Ever that we got in the dollar bead bag so this is it I hope that you guys enjoyed this little bead haul here and again I will link the dollar bead box and bag down there below in the description bar thank you this video leave me a comment subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos and follow me on my social media sites I'm on Facebook Instagram Pinterest and Twitter thanks for watching